So in this video, I will show you a little bit more about splattering, talk a little bit more about splattering, about splattering with different brushes. If you have a stiff brush or a toothbrush with a smaller size round brush and a larger size la round brush. <laughs> And also I will be in, for the sake of this demonstration, using Sennelier watercolors and I'm going to use just three of the colors. I'm going to use uh, yellow ochre, uh, then quinacridone, um, fuchsia quinacridone and Prussian blue. Those are all the colors we will be using, only three, but of course you can later on use a little bit more colors, try them out. This is just a demonstration, so I do want to go over it, over everything, but just use as many, as, as less colors as possible because, you know, this would take a long, long time to do. So let's just get a ruler and a pencil and your watercolor paper, any watercolor paper will do, whatever you have. And we will do a grid first. So let me just move these out of the way and let's just do our grid. I'm gonna do three columns two uh, and three rows. Third row will have two columns. So let's just start with that. get this micron pen and I will just write in. We have here, I'm going to try different brushes. So it's, it's going to be different brushes. Then this one is going to be under water control, trying different water water amounts and this is going to be splattering with water like that and then here we will have so this is going to be different brushes this first one is going to be splattering with larger brush this is going to be splattering with smaller brush and this is going to be a stiff brush. Hopefully I'm not misspelling something. If I am, I'm really sorry. Water control, this is going to be wet. This is going to be dry or semi wet. And this is going to be dry fully. And then we have splattering with water to uh, more paint more water and paint less water so drier like that so I will just explain everything as we go and if you want to call it differently, that's just fine. For this, you will also be needing some towels because we will cover parts that we don't want our splatters to go to. And I just want to wet my paints so I can lift them more easily. So you can also put the tape in between if that's what you like. I will put the tape only here and not really in these parts. So first we will start with different brushes. And as I said, we're gonna use a smaller brush and we're gonna use a larger brush for our splattering. So let's just cover everything around where we don't want our splatters to go. So first we will do the demonstration with a larger brush and I'm gonna 
cover everything around it like that and just gonna get that larger brush gonna get pick up a little bit of the water and I'm gonna get some Prussian blue pick up that Prussian blue and do a couple of splatters with a larger brush so just to show you how those splatters with a larger brush look I'm gonna pick up a little bit more water into my brush and just do a couple of more a little bit more water so this is just splattering and you know when I do splatter I usually don't tap a uh, onto my brush but I just hold it like this and tap like that it just gives me control that's how I've learned but of course if it makes it easier for you you can just tap with one brush onto your onto your brush or just with this one with, with paint you can tap on the other brush that's just a matter of preference I do like it like that I I find it to have the most control like that so this is going to be the splatters with a larger brush let's just move this out of the way and this is going to be splatters with a smaller brush hopefully I will not go into this at this point I'm gonna get that smaller brush I'm gonna get some paint not a lot of paint I don't have a lot of water in my brush you can also dry it on a dry towel if that makes it easier for you so just tap in and move the excess and then just tap in with that smaller brush again I'm gonna rinse it slightly and tap it again so same technique a little bit more water so this is going to be a slightly smaller brush so just doing exactly the same thing but the different difference is in the brush and the third one let's just move this for now third one is going to be as I said this stiff brush with stiff bristles and for that one I do need a little uh, I do need to put it in a little palette bowl whatever you have you can use it and then I'm gonna just dip put in the tip of my brush into the water and then you can see this paint is it has water it is watered down and now I will just get that brush and with my I guess Oh, index no that's I'm not sure how that finger is called first finger <laughs> I'm gonna paint in those splatters and you can see how the splatters are quite small and for when I just go with it up this is how it looks so you can see how these splatters are very very small with a stiff brush these are a little bit larger and a little bit more all around and these are even larger and well I guess depending on the effect you are trying to achieve you you can choose the size of your brush so this can also be done with a toothbrush now I will just leave this to dry so I can cover it and then I'm gonna move to this part this is now dry and as you could have seen I did all of the uh, all of those demonstrations onto the dry paper now I will do uh, one part on the wet paper one on the semi dry or semi wet paper and one on fully dry paper so let's just start first I will cover this again and as I said I will start first on the wet paper so let's just get some clean water and wet this paper this time I will be using a larger amount of water and it doesn't matter if I go over my borders lines that I did it's fine I'm not gonna be bothered with that so just adding quite amount of the water it's not really 
little water, it's quite the amount of the water. So like that. And I'm gonna get, this is a brush in between those two. And I will pick up some, uh, I will pick up some sap green, maybe, why not, right? So sap green. And I will do a couple of splatters straight from the palette. I did not dilute it. So let's just do a couple of splatters. And I do want to cover this. So I'm going to do it like that. So like that, just a tip with the tip of my brush. I'm going to put it in the water and do splatters. So this is quite wet paper. Then I'm going to move to the next one. This is going to be a semi dry. So again, I will pick up the water, but this time I will use a lot less water, just enough of the water to have it on the paper, but not really a lot of water. Just a touch. So like that. And then I'm going to pick up that sap green, dry the excess water onto my towel and do splatters. Again. So just doing the splatters on, I guess, semi dry. I do have in my brush just enough water so I can release the paint. And if you can't, if you are uh, pressing onto your brush and, and the paint is not going anywhere, you just need a little bit more water in your brush. So this is on a semi dry paper. And the last one, of course, is going to be on dry paper. So this is going to be something similar to this. I did not wet that, so I'm going to just get sub green and do some splatters onto that. And I'm going to get a little bit more water in my brush and do again more splatters. You can see how the edges of my splatters are cleaner, how they are sharper and here you can see the blades and here a lot a lot of blades and a split of the pigment so if you are using a color that has more pigments in it it might be that you will have the split of the pigments so that's going to be the difference if you are using wet paper if you are using semi-wet paper and if you are using dry paper that's the difference between the splattering, right? And the third one is going to be splattering just clean water. I'm gonna splatter here clean water and I'm gonna splatter here clean water. Here I will be using, uh, here I will be using more water, more diluted paint. And here I will be using less water. So my paper is going to be slightly drier than here. So you can see the difference when you're splattering with clean water when your paper is quite wet and when your paper is somewhat dry. So here you can see I will just leave this to dry and so I can cover it again and then we will do the last two. So these all now dried and you can see how beautiful effect you have here especially if you are mixing your colors from any uh, two colors, three colors, whatever, you can get those beautiful, beautiful effects where the pigment splits and you can see how gorgeous this looks. So definitely something to have in mind. And now I will just do the water splattering. First, let's just, let's just wet this part of the paper. I'm gonna just lightly wet it. So I have a little bit more time with my pigment. Just uh, some water here. 
and this is going to be a little bit more wet so and now for that I will be using yellow ochre so picking quite amount of yellow ochre just gonna put that here and going all the way a little bit more of yellow ochre because we do want our water splatters to create an effect and if you are using well very little pigment of course the effect won't be so visible a little bit more like that so this is going to be the first one and i will get this smaller brush this time and sit in a water pick up some clean water maybe just tap it onto my towel slightly to move the excess I don't want any dripping so this is how it looks when you are putting it when you're tapping clean water onto your fairly wet there are no puddles it's evenly wet but it is wet so like that a little bit more why not so we're gonna leave this to dry and for the second one we will be using less water so I will not water it down so much or actually I will water it down water my paper with quite amount of water again to make it easier for me to put in the pigment but I will just leave it for a couple of seconds to dry before I start splattering with water so just putting it onto the paper getting a little bit more of the pigment it's not going to be perfectly perfect rectangle but that's mad doesn't matter I'm not going to bother myself with that that's not really the point here so this is somewhat evenly wet as the previous one but we will leave this one to dry slightly I can move this so you can see how this one is drying the pigment is already getting into those places where the water is and covering some parts up it's not staying exactly the same as it was when I was splattering this one just we're gonna leave it just a little bit more to dry I really do love this effect you can give this try a try with every co with uh, any color you like I'm, I'm not sure if I already said that uh, but you know just change up the color see how your colors react because not every color is going to look same on the on the wet or semi wet paper it's going to look slightly different and also water splatters will look slightly different on uh, different uh, backgrounds with done with uh, different paints and also these splatters are going to look slightly different maybe you're going to use a little bit more pigment that would be more saturated maybe you're going to use a little bit more water water down and just you know that's just up to your preference i'm just looking this is getting slightly drier but i'm going to leave it maybe just a few seconds let's just get the clean water so this one is a little bit drier than this one was when i was adding clean water and it's still shiny but I don't have as much water and it almost started to dry it was very very close to drying so that's gonna be it I'm not gonna go overboard with the splattering because I will just add again too much water on top and it's not going to be a lot different than this 
so this is how it looks when the paper was drier and this is how it looks when the paper was a little bit more wet and now I will just again leave this to dry and we will see how at the end it looks and this is now more or less dry and you can see the difference every each difference so done splatter is done with the larger brush of course that brush holds more water and the splatters are gonna be larger are gonna be have a little bit less controlled edges with a smaller brush they will be of course smaller and the edges will be slightly more controlled depending on how much pigment were you using in your brush or how much water were you using in your brush and then we have some splatters with a stiff brush which are a little even smaller than these done with a smaller brush and very concentrated on one one place so you can get these lines and concentrate it's very very tiny small I do like to do that for very very tiny small stars Milky Ways so it's nice to use that stiff brush and of course also if you are splattering from if you're splattering uh, by slowly using that brush you get these if you are splattering a little bit faster you get some smaller bleeds you get some smaller splatters and also not so much in the Milky Way when you are using a wet semi wet or dry paper you can see the difference these are almost blended together and they created some lighter washes but the pigment split because I was using sap green that's the mix of colors that's not a primary color hold, uh, holding just one pigment it has a little bit more pigment so those pigments split it on a larger amount of water and you can see how the effect was when using a semi-wet paper drier paper you get a little bit different not so many uh, splits of the colors and of course they will not so blend so much one into each other and on the dry again uh, a lot more uh, control a lot more um, cleaner edges if you want to say that no bleeds so the how the uh, splatter falls on the paper that is how it also dries when splattering with water i do love to splatter with water you can splatter with some white gouache white paint or different paint into another I love to do splatters with white uh, with clean water sometimes it looks like a salt effect so depending on how much uh, water you're using and how much wet your paper is if it's more wet those splatters are gonna be a little bit more blended not so visible it will be a slightly um, slightly mm, toned down effect and when painting with less water drier it has to be wet it has to have water but it's almost you just if you are leaving it just a couple of more seconds 10 5 to 10 seconds more it will dry it will be too dry but it just has a slight shine to it you can see it's it's wet but it's slightly drying almost drying you do these and you can get almost salt effect and as i said i do encourage you to give this a try with different colors and i'm sure you will just learn the effect and you will learn a lot about the splatters hopefully this video helped you and give you a little bit more insight in splattering there are a lot of more techniques and a lot of more trials with splattering but these are the ones that i wanted to share for for now with you these are the ones that i use the most and a lot of you have been asking me about them so i decided to put them in one video so you can just uh, get the idea how it all works and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it and comment tell me what you liked what you maybe want me to add to talk a little bit more about and again thank you so much for watching if you haven't still subscribed to my channel well i guess there is no there is no excuse for that you have to subscribe to my channel there are many 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 tutorials watercolor tutorials there so i'm sure you will definitely find something for yourself and again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye